is one snapped into which was sad. <laughs> I had him from an egg, you know. Tiny little thing he was when he hatched. No bigger than a Pekingese. A Pekingese, mind you. How oh, sweet. I once had a fish. Uh. Francis is very dear to me. And afternoon I came downstairs and it vanished. Off. It's very odd, isn't it? Well, isn't it? But that's life. I suppose you you go along and then suddenly poof. It was a student who gave me Francis. On the spring afternoon, I discovered a bowl on my desk. With just a few inches of clear water in it. And floating on the surface was a flower petal. As I watched, it sank. Just before it reached the bottom, it's transformed to a wee fish. Beautiful magic, wondrous to behold. The flower petal had come from a lily. Your mother, the day I came downstairs, the day the bowl was empty, was the day your mother. I know why you're here. But I can't help you. It would ruin me. Do you know why I survived, Professor? The night I got this? Because of her. Because she sacrificed herself. Because she refused to step aside. Because her love was more powerful than Voldemort. Don't say his name. I'm not afraid of the name, Professor. I'm going to tell you something. Something others have only guessed at. It's true. I am the chosen one. Only I can destroy him, but in order to do so, I need to know what Tom Riddle asked you all those years ago in your office, and I need to know what you told him. Be brave, Professor. Be brave like my mother. Otherwise, you disgrace her. Otherwise, she died for nothing. Otherwise, the bowl will remain empty forever. Please, don't think badly of me when you see it. You have no idea what he was like even then. <laughs> 